Yo, well, what is going on, 67 Squad? Today we're playing Susano Jungle, who is arguably the best god in the game right now. That's not like actually bugged. And there's a couple of reasons why I'll say that I think he might be the best god in the game. The speed at which his abilities and his combos come out, including auto cancels, is like it's like six times faster than Smite One, which is almost impossible to believe. Um his three and the auto cancel there is just as fast as Smite One, which if you didn't know is one of the fastest auto cancels in the entire game. Um, his alt goes longer range and always oh, knocks up. Now it's not based yes. on like, you don't have to charge it up to get the knock up. You can literally like click for and insta launch it and it'll still get the knock up on him. Um, and also there's not a lot of people that can deal with Susano in, uh, in Smite 2. Also, I'm here with Yas. Hello. He is my Bologna. Um, and his and his beloved. And my beloved, yes. Small. We're fighting vegan shark in the soul or in the jungle, probably. The Fenrir. Now, last game I got invaded by the mid laner who sundered my speed buff. So hopefully they don't show up. Because <laughs> that pissed me off last game. I'm not gonna lie to you. Yeah, I also got robbed I was by like, the Loki. I was like, no, I got owned by the soul. She came in and sundered. Yeah, they all came in. They all came in. Yeah, but uh, I was like, I mean, Yas will even tell you. I literally, when she came in and thundered, I was like, well, GG, we lost. And we won. Yeah, we did win. Um, By the way, I'm going Bluestone because I don't think that the camps are tanky enough to where you really need, uh, what is it called? Oh my God. I'm the dead. Boomba's thing. You're dead? He does so much damage. He's also level two. But we had the same clear. I don't get it. I must have missed a minion. Oh, are you good? There you go. Yeah, you're good. You're chilling. I'm just gonna. I'm gonna play tower. I'm not good enough. But yeah, I don't think that uh, you need Boombas right now. I mean, Boombas is obviously very, very good. Um, and it's arguably the best thing to do still, especially on Susano. But I want to just try something new. You know, I've played a few matches of Susano. I've gone Boombas every time, and I don't feel like I have to for clear. I feel like I can just get away with um, going Bluestone. I'm going to gank. Can you kill? Nice. Thank you. Great job. Game egg. Great job. Great job. Thank you, Ganker. Um. Perfect. I stole the speed buff and killed the mid laner. This is very good. It's a great start. What do I do? Oh, I fucked it. There's no wave or anything. I just said just chill. I fucked it. Yeah, if there's if there's nothing there, you can just chill. Or you could back. I mean get some get some items. Now the build I'm gonna be doing is Transcendence plus Book of Thoth and then Proc item. Because I do believe that's probably the best burst build you can do in the game right now. Um now, Transcendence plus Book of Thoth is an interesting combo. It's never been able to be done in Smite 1, obviously, but they both scale off of having more mana. Oh, God. Hold on. Chris might be getting owned here. They both scale off having more mana, and uh, you can also go Soul Reaver and Heartseeker, which both give you mana. Oh, God. Died. Damn. This is getting kind of cooked in mid here. Should I come help him? No, it's all right. I might be able to do something here. Ah. I fucked it. I killed Mordred again. You have ult? Oh, fuck. He has ult. Oh, they both have ult. Damn. Okay. You solo up the Mordred? Yeah. Nice, dude. Not 
don't think they're winning that. Um, I do have some extra gold, so I'm just going to buy another little physical power here. A little strength. Really got to get out of the habit of saying, like, physical or magical. Um, I'm going to come for your blue buff here. Oh, I picked it up. Fuck. Sorry. Um, okay. I do have alt. We can kill this guy, maybe. Behind? Yep. He doesn't have alt. You're chilling. Also, be careful, though. Okay. Gonna grab this for you. He's coming around to you? Yeah, I see him. I see him. Nice. He's not sneaky. Uh, I am probably a little bit far behind, though, unfortunately. I'm afraid. I'm not going to go up to him. Yeah, he's got all no The way he's playing means his ult is back up here. You stole my blue! Yeah, I did. I'm sorry. Two bastards! I've, I've been playing solo, like, basically <laughs> every, every day other than today, so I just, like, naturally pick up blue buff. But it's okay because I killed him, right? So it makes up for it. Yeah, yeah, I'm out pressuring him for sure. All right, let's see if we can get. Although oh, Oracle's already gone. All right, I'm just gonna back and go get my finished transcendence now, and then I'll start my book. Yeah, you can see even just right there how fast his abilities come out, and how more, uh, how much more responsive they are. It's honestly kind of insane. Oh god, Chris is dead again. Enemy missing right. Missing right. Enemy you guys good? Enemy yeah. Your middle tower is under attack. Oh, she blinked out. How? You know like, exactly where I was? Sussy boy? I this wish I more good is very low. If he pushes up, you should gank him. All right. But yeah, he's pushing up. Wait, nope, he's under tower still. Yeah, he's out of tower. Uh, do you have Fizz D? Do I have Fizz D? Yeah. I don't know. I have a hammer thing. Oh, uh, you have 15 Fizz prots. Not a whole lot. Uh, we can maybe dive if you tanks for me. Okay. Oh, Chris wants to do this Naga okay, thing. Do it, do it, do it, do it. I can't. I can't. I'm not there. Chris wants to no, no, I thing. mean, I know, I mean, do it, do it with Chris, sorry. Do the thing with Chris, it's fine. Okay, I got the Naga thing. I'm coming over there. I'm a little bit low, though, so if he ults, I might get owned. Uh. But he won't expect you to ult him, right? Your middle tower yeah. Oh, Athena's here. Alright, never mind. No, she don't fight. You. He's pulling back. Yeah, I'm too low for Athena and possibly Fenrir to be here as well. Yeah, it's not worth Fenrir is here. I might be dead. I need help. Coming. Alright, uh, Fenrir might be in this bush over here. He's, he might be by your blue. No. Alright, that was scary. I almost Marjorie got owned. Marjorie dead is on blue. Yeah. An enemy has been Ooh. slain. Enemy ultimate, enemy down. ultimate down. There's Athena and Fenrir alts. Attack. Hmm. Where is the soul? Oh, I missed. Perfect. 
My ability is on cooldown. I think Fenrir is around here. Yeah, no, Fenrir's over here. We see a Fenrir. Very nice. The altar. God, I do so much damage. Oh, I'm dead. Oh, scary. I almost got cooked right there. A warrior I just I just slave. stood in the middle of him as he ulted, and he just ulted in a circle around me. <laughs> yeah, the, the ult, Mordred's dash ult is such a bad turning radius that if you... Yeah. You can actually simply, like, sidestep it if you're expecting it. Which is what makes him not as good as Troc, in my opinion. He kind of has to wait for my one to be done to do it. Because I, if I just dash in like one direction, he just misses it. And it's over. Well, the, the best time, because I've played that matchup a few times. Yeah. Um, From the Mordred's perspective, the best time for him to ult is when you ult, actually. Because the, the, the charge up makes you CC immune, so you don't get stunned by the Bologna ult. And then you like guarantee hit it, you know? Oh, I'm dead. Are you? Fenrir on me. Oh. Yeah. I mean, Fenrir's kind of behind. You might be able to live. There's three of them. Oh. Yeah, it's okay. Can we do gold? Attack the gold, Attack fury. The gold fury. I'm on it. Yeah, you can definitely do it. They cannot get it. They can't get over quick enough. Yeah, they're gonna take my left power. Right. I almost died, but we got the gold. Worth it. Yeah, they're gonna get it. That's all right. I mean, a tower for gold is fine, I think. And if we win this fight in mid, this is actually really good for us. Fenrir does so much damage, actually. I did not expect Fenrir to fucking cook me with his three button. It did 500. He's full lifesteal. Well, he's not full lifesteal. I lied. His Hydra's. I thought that was the other lifesteal item. Still, though, Hydra's... I mean, I think Fenrir's insanely good because he can he can crit with his three now. Yeah, he's just gonna run away. He's one now. Is he ulting me? It sounded he's like he was in, ulting he's me. He's in fire giant pit. Your left tower is he? He was. I don't know where he went. I hear him. I don't know where he is. I got him. He's super low. Good job. You have slain an enemy. Um, they thought they were taking my tower. In reality, I'm taking theirs. I stole his blue too. Jesus Christ! I do so much damage. Sam, what does the horn do? The horn um, does it. Um, so every. Every wave, like our next wave, you'll see they have a little horn icon on them. Yeah. And, well, who got it? Us or them? I have it now. Okay. Uh, well, when it goes off, it will make like a horn noise. And um, the next minion wave after it goes off will be like enhanced minions. They won't be as strong as fire minions, but they'll do extra damage and have extra health and be extra tanky. So now this next minion wave coming up, you see how their icon is like a little yeah. different on the mini map. Um, yep. They're just buffed up minions. And if you run by them, like if, if you go see them, they'll mm -hmm. have this little horn icon. I'll show the recording in mid. 
Well, they, Where, are, where's they the whole team? They don't have the horn icon. These might have spawned right before the horn went off, so it might be the next wave that has them. Oh, yeah, they're there. See how they're diamond? Yeah. So, like, those... Oh, Fenrir is here. Those minions Mid. on the map are circle, but the buffed ones right here are diamonds, and they have the horn icon next to them, meaning they're Got buffed it. up, and they have, like, that red aura. The uh, the war horn is actually very important for like early game pressure. Okay, so I'll make sure to keep getting <clears> it. <throat> I can come kill that Mordred again. I think. I have blink up. An ally has been slain. Oh, I'm okay with that. Yeah. Oh, is Chris dead in mid? Oh, he might be. Your middle tower is under attack. I should probably start rotating, honestly, to help. Chris yeah, out. after you get the first tower down, you should start be rotating more. and just helping out the people that are like dying like our uh, our duo lane or on her is having a rough time right now can i take red that's probably a bad idea right uh red is normally for mid lane but you can't yeah. have it i mean no no i'm not i'm not chris needs it i oh, take I, I take it sometimes i take red then well they can have infinity buffs oh okay I want next item probably either Heartseeker or Soul Reaver. Probably go with Heartseeker though. Attack the Gold Fury. Yeah, we should be doing objectives more. With how much pressure we have on the map, for sure. Coming! I'm not over there though, so be very careful. I have alt. I am fucking massive though. I'm level 17. Like in, compar down. in comparison, the enemy jungler is level 13. <laughs> yeah, you're fucking massive right now, dude. Let's see if I can catch this Mordred doing enemy tower. Right. Careful, middle. Your right tower is under attack. Okay, I'm fine with that. I'm pretty tanky. Oh, uh, Mordred is coming. I'm on my way over. Gold! We can kill this Mordred. If anyone's here. Coming. Uh, no, I don't think no. so. You can't kill him. That guy's tanky. He's a little tanky. I also do have 3,300 gold in hand, so. Yeah. Oh, shit. Who's up there? All right. So yeah, this build basically revolves around right. maximum mana and proccing. And you'll see just like just by getting that oh, heart seeker, you'll see just how much damage I'm gonna do. I tried tried to help Kuzembo and I died. But um like even even with just the heart seeker heart seeker, you'll see how much damage I'm doing, but when I get that Soul Reaver online, oh my god, you're going to see people get deleted. Like, just, just abysmally deleted. They're not going to have a chance. On my way. Oh, I Yeah, I'm more just gonna take left. I am power. so fucking massive right now. Yeah, our whole team is in right. You guys are good there. Oh god, help him. There it is. I am immortal. I am 12 and 1.
Just Susano have much in scaling. Uh, um, not in his kit per se. He has pretty much exclusively strength scaling. But um, the he actually only has strength scaling. But the int build works so well because it increases the damage of your proc items. So even though you're not gaining damage on your abilities, building like these magical items, you're building your proc item damage up, which is like significant damage, by the way. I mean, like what the fuck was that, right? <laughs> like what the fuck was even that? Soul Reaver is going to be 2,900. I'm already at 23. I might as well just farm for the whole thing. Mordred's just chilling and left trying to farm. Oh, Fenrir is here. Does he have Thunder? That guy made a mistake. Yeah. I don't know how he planned to secure that. Like, you don't... Does he, well, if he has Sunder, he can. Oh, I guess so. He doesn't have Sunder. I don't know what he was doing. Also, by the way, um, there's no longer magical and physical penetration. There is simply just percent pen. So, Soul Reaver giving me max mana and pen means that I'm just doing so much more damage. Now that I have all my proc items online, um, I can I can like safely go Hydras and do even more with my autos, which you can argue Hydras is better than, than Crusher third item. And I, I'd honestly probably Attack agree with you, but Fury. I just wanted to rush the item procs for the build, like for the video. Do, 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 do. Like, if someone shows up here, I want to just show you how fucking owned they get. <laughs> oh god, I might be owned. Oh my... Help! Help! Oh my god, dude! Oh my god. Let's go, dude. I do so much damage, man. Yo, shout out to Uncle Kuzumbo for the heals there. He saved my ass. But yeah, I mean, the Soul Reaver proc plus the Heartseeker proc with like all the power you're getting from mana. Right now, I have 316 power and 300 in. Um, Intelligence. You can see, like, right above my my name right there. Yeah, Loki pops with this build as well. I mean, I mean, in fact, a lot of people pop with this build. This might be the best damage-dealing build in the game right now. Honestly. I'm going to blink over this wall. Oh, I don't like I don't like this. Finally. 19 and 1. What the hell, dude? We just did we just didn't give a shit. We just we just 1v we just 5v5 them under every objective. Oh we just my didn't care. God. That's Holy insane. Holy shit. I literally went 19 and 1. And I still, I still have room for my Hydra's item. Like, what the heck? That's just crazy. Dude, dude. Susano, definitely the best god in this fight, too. Like, there's <laughs> other gods that are very, very good, right? Gods like Jingwei, gods like Sol, gods like Chalk, gods like Bacchus. But holy shit, Susano feels like there is no counterplay to it. It just feels insane. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, y'all, peace.